Hi there, so it's Lisa and I'm in my kitchen and I am about to put my beef roast into, with my potatoes, into my quick cooker. So I just wanted to show you a couple of things. So this is the inner pot. This is everything that the food goes in inside. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to turn this on sear and I am gonna add the oil in there. And then I am going to be searing both sides of my meat before I add it in. Before I add in my potatoes, I'm going to sear both sides. So I'm going to get, let that oil get warm. And I've got my meat over here. Now I am going to add all of my dry seasonings that I want to put on top of my meat, I'm going to add them to my bowl and then I'm going to sprinkle them on top. <clears throat> now here, I already have my potatoes ready. They're cut up about a pound and a half, got two tablespoons or so of butter, um, supposed to be two cloves of chai, or excuse me, two cloves of garlic, but we really love garlic, so I put more in there, and half a cup of um, chicken broth. So this is the cover that I'm going to put on the potatoes. So this goes right over nice and neat. And then it's going to sit inside on top of the meat. Once the meat is seared, it's going to sear both sides of the meat. And then I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to stick in my onion because I'm going to slice up some onion. And then um, I'm going to have my onion once it's sauteed, then I'm gonna stick, I'm having a tussle, there we go. I'm gonna stick um, my meat on top of my onion. All right, so there's your potatoes all ready to go. And they sit right on top of this rack, which sits right on top of your meat. All right, so for our seasoning, we're going to need half, you know, one teaspoon each of thyme and oregano. I usually do a pretty good shot of it. All right, and next we're gonna do half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Salt. Pepper, I'm gonna give it a swirl. I need to put these covers back on because I lately, I just spilt cinnamon all over my counter the other day. And the floor and my pants and my shirt. Yeah, that was a hot mess. Sorry, I'm stirring this up. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna start up high because then you get more coverage. You might also get the floor, but that's okay. All right, and then I've got my chef's tongs. These are the large ones. Flip this baby over. And I use those because I don't want my fingers, um, I want them to remain dry while I'm doing this mixture on here. Because you want to make sure and get full coverage. You've got salt and pepper in here, and you've got dry herbs, you've got your um, thyme and your oregano. All right, so we've got good coverage, and this has been on for three minutes, so it's ready to rock and roll, so I'm going to throw this in. I am going to sear both sides, and then I will add in the rest and get it going. So, let me just show you a little bit there. Looking pretty good, right? All right, I hope everybody has a good day. I will jump on and show you, it's really loud now. Um, I will jump back on and post a picture of our roast and maybe jump in in between here while I'm throwing it together. Thanks for watching.